Uh, good afternoon to one and all. Today's topic is Tympano Mastoid Arctic Antle Variety. Already seen in the class as unsafe here. Safe here. We are going to see about the unsafe here and its various pathology and its complications. Uh, in this first one, it's a cholesteatoma formation. Already I told in the class, cholesteatoma is not a tumor. It is just a retraction pocket which has been developed at the top of the epitympanium. Okay. When coming into the uh, safe air part, there are perforation which occurs in the lower half of the tympanic membrane, not in the upper part. But in case of tympanic mastoid variety, the perforation which occurs in the upper part. So it is called as attic or tympanic mastoid variety. In the first, there is a sac or pocket formation which occurs in the uh, attic region. Okay, it may be uh, like a, a small pouch, like what we are having in the a small pouch we are having in the upper portion of the tympanic membrane. Okay, it can cause severe pressure effect or create a pressure effect on the, the structures which are present beneath the tympanic tympanic bone membrane. Okay. This is the various portions. Carefully go through the PowerPoint slides, which will help you. At first, there is a retraction pocket will be formed. It will be a self-cleaning one. Automatically, it will getting wiped off. By days progressing, it can get easily infected due to the various atmospheric organisms entering to the ear. That is the main thing. Then only the complications of CS1 is getting more virulent. Okay. Then coming into the cholesteatoma complication. As I told already, it is not a tumor, but it got the name cholesteatoma by the secretions. We are having a greasy secretion, it is called a cerumen. It contains lipids. The lipids is getting concreted in this area. So it is getting more solidified and emulsified to form a, a small salts. So it looks like a crystals of cholesterol, even though some contents are having the cholesterol content so it got the name cholesteotoma it looks like a tumor it's called as cholesteotoma but it is not a tumor okay it's just a retraction socket or packet formation then it causes uh, more collection of this color material results in pressure effect it results in osteitis that is inflammation of the small articular chain then we are having malleus incus step is it's a getting uh, affected by the inflammation of the small articular chain. Then this extends into the roof and causing erosion to the tag, tagment tympani producing some extra dural abscess meningitis and other intracranial complications. You can be able to see the various intracranial complications here, mastoiditis, labyrinthitis and petrocytis and facial nerve paralysis. Then coming into the clinical features of cholesteatoma, so votoria. So due to the chronic infection, what will happen? This pocket formation results in chronic effusion of these fluids as well as somewhat detached from that pocket layer is coming out. Because due to that chronic accumulation of stasis condition, it is foul smelling in nature. Because sometimes uh, due to that constant butt cleaning results in blood stained nature. Okay, due to that pocket formation above the attic region, it directly compresses the articular chain so that there is a possibility of both deafness, sensory neural deafness as well as the conductive deafness is getting more prominent. These complications are more important as earache, vertigo, temporal headache, tinnitus. The tinnitus means the humming sound. Okay, when you are very silently lying in a bed, you can be able to hear the hums venous arms. Some blood circulations will be you can be able to feel it. It's a common one. Okay. It's getting more prominent in the CSOM. Then coming into the investigation part, fistula test if there is, sometimes this pouch is getting opened up and in, can infection extend into the mastoid bone. So what will happen? The infection can enter into the mastoid cells and results in the entire mastoid bone is getting decased and filled with abscess okay so you have to go for the fistula test then coming into the radiology 
when you take that mastoid bone x-ray what will happen we can able to see the bony erosion along with the other tissues involved then coming into the audiological studies we have to assess how the patient has been affected uh, cognitive deafness and compared to the sensory neural deafness okay these are the various investigations we have to go for it and coming into the surgical management of csom this tympanoplasty is the entire reconstruction of the um, destructed tympanic membrane okay then come uh, articotomy this is exclusively for csom patients to make a proper reconstructive and repairing work of attic region then coming into the mastoid radical ma modified radical mastoidectomy this is the entire mastoid bone along with the communications with the middle ear has been repaired so it is called as modified radical mastoidectomy that's all about the total completion of the csom if you have any doubt kindly ask me okay thank you